Hey all here, OS Reviews, in this very quick hands-on video, we'll just be taking a quick look at some of the similarities and differences between the regular Firefox OS uh, with KaiOS, which is kind of the new offspring of Firefox, but it's designed now more for feature phones instead of smartphones. So right off the bat, we can tell that the icons on both of these phones are quite similar because, again, they are based on the same uh, kind of source code, so to speak, and the same source concept. We can take a look at the phone dialer. There's, again, similarities there. Contacts over here also have a very similar kind of icon layout. That's what the camera looks like. And the overall colors and themes, again, are very reminiscent uh, of one another. I can even see how the clock here almost has exactly the same look as the Firefox OS clock. Uh, and the gallery here with the cutoff corners on the top and the left here also looks quite similar to the gallery that we see over here with the cutoff corners. And the similarities are definitely deeper than just having very similar graphics or visuals for the icons. It's based on the same HTML5 technology and it's uh, also using the same underlying Firefox browser, which is actually quite versatile and allows you to open up desktop class pages without too many problems, even on something like this, which is considered a feature phone. Having HTML5 also means that most of the apps, which are not utilities, are actually based in the cloud. And you can think of them essentially as extensions of the browser, just because you aren't physically downloading, let's say, a game that is the same experience that you find on an Android phone, but rather it's basically just a web app that you still require internet connectivity to access, and then it just opens it up in a separate window for you to play back. So for instance, happening on games, you'll see that right now we don't have Wi-Fi turned on, so we can't actually access any of this content. Both platforms support all the wireless connectivity options, including 4G, LTE, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, and the KaiOS also supports uh, NFC. For the only difference from a system perspective is regular Firefox OS supports multitasking because devices tended to have at least one gig of RAM up to perhaps three gigs, for instance. So you can long hold on the home key here to bring up multitasking, which is represented as these cards, very similar to WebOS, very similar to this modern modern day phone, such as even iOS that we see now on the iPhone 10. So this is a nice concept and allows me to smoothly go back and forth between open applications. But on KaiOS, because it's meant for feature phones and this device here only has 512 megabytes of RAM, there is no multitasking supported at all. So you won't find any buttons that you can press to switch between apps. Basically the moment that you exit out of an application, it uh, shuts down and when you open it up again it has to restart itself. Main screens are also a little different on the KaiOS phones. The main screen is actually not this menu of apps that you see here, but rather if I exit out of this, it's just this time widget, as well as our battery percentage on the very top. Uh, and you can also take a look at things like notifications just by tapping on the sides uh, and the soft keys on the phone below. But on the regular Firefox OS, the main screen is basically just this running list of all your applications. So there's no additional kind of large clock widget that you're able to see. Regular Firefox OS does have a universal search though on the very top that allows us to pull through uh, different apps stored on the phone, files, as well as search the web. But this is not a feature that we have on KaiOS at the moment. If you just start typing along, that basically just opens up the dialer pad and starts entering a number. Uh, since again, this is more of a feature phone oriented at making calls and having a few smart features stacked in. So if I, even if I'm in the app tray here, Tapping on the numbers down below here will start calling as opposed to start searching the internet with a universal search. Finally, I'll point out that on Firefox OS, uh, in terms of notifications, you can drag down just like on Android to take a look at things like utilities in the bottom, toggling on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, notifications. But as you can see here on KaiOS, and the main screen is divided into two tabs. Over here is where you'll see your notifications, and over here, is where you'll see kind of your quick shortcuts. Right now I have it set up to be voicemail, but I can also change it so that it's displaying the Wi-Fi, the airplane mode, Bluetooth, as well as settings instead. So that's more or less it as far as a quick look at some of the similarities and differences between Firefox OS, which we saw previously on smartphones, uh, compared to now KaiOS, which is designed for feature phone devices. So obviously looking forward, there's a lot of potential with where KaiOS is headed, and hopefully we can see them finding more success. There's certainly a lot of potential here, and we've always been fans of the simplicity as well as elegance of what Firefox is trying to achieve, as well as their excellent web browsing experience on their phones, and we like that they're bringing that now to lower-end devices as well. So you can check out more details about the KaiOS, and in particular what we thought about the Alcatel Go Flip in a separate video that we have, but for now that's been our video in terms of a quick comparative look between these two smartphone operating systems. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.